Hey guys, Matthew here. So I have the Sony SRS XB23 right here. Um, I've been using this for a few weeks now. Um, and so this is my Sony SRS XB23 review. Okay, so let's go over the quick specs of this device. This uses Bluetooth 5.0, so I'm glad that Sony at least has upgraded to uh, 5.0 instead of using 5.2. Um, this is also, you can buy this for uh, $99.99 um, from Best Buy's website. Sometimes they are on sale. I know I bought this on sale for $79.99 um, a few weeks ago. I'm guessing that was Labor Day weekend, but anyways, uh, usually there's some sales, so I'll place a link down in the video description for the most up-to-date price on this device. But anyways, um, you have a little lanyard kind of thing right here to hold it, a strap to hold it, so that way if you're like on a boat or anything like that, you don't want to accidentally drop it. So if you accidentally drop it, oh, it's, there you go. Uh, you got some two base resonators right here, one on the top, one on the bottom. You got some base ports here, so that way when you stand it up, um, the base is able to get some uh, airflow. It's not going to get muddied, anything like that. This looks like it's a 360 degree speaker, however, it is not a 360 degree speaker. Um, it actually is front facing, uh, and you can tell from the back you've got all the buttons here and so there's obviously not speakers right here so there's a speaker here and here uh, and then you got your two bass resonators right here um, overall it's a very it's very nice this does not light up I know previous generations they did light up Sony changed their design completely from going to a speaker that sat like this to a speaker that's like this and now no lights but I personally am not a huge fan of the lights they get distracting they use up power um, anything like that. So anyways, this does use uh, USB-C to charge. So I'm glad that Sony finally moved to USB-C instead of that micro USB uh, to charge this speaker. Um, there is no um, auxiliary port on this device, so you're only limited to Bluetooth uh, connectivity. I know in previous generations there was that auxiliary port, but Sony has done away with that and you only have the USB-C um, port in the back and then you can only connect it via Bluetooth so um, anyways now let's get into the actual review of this device I really like the design of this speaker I like that it's more of a like a, a can design so you can kind of put it either in your uh, cup holder or you can put it on a desk like that and like that and it'll just stay there it's it's slim it's not real bulky or anything like that and you can kind of hold it in your hand and of course you've got that wrist strap right here so you can hold it in your hand while um, listening to music and anything like that so that's nice I really like it this is supposed to be able to withstand um, some water splashes anything like that so you can take this out to the pool and be okay with it getting wet um, just so that way if, if you're freaking out about that or let's say you're outside and all of a sudden it starts to rain You don't have to worry about oh shoot. I'm gonna ruin my speaker. You're not going to ruin it It's going to be fine and it will still be able to play good sound even when it's wet So just be aware of that and of course um, you do have that uh, cover for the um, USB-C port so you can just cover it up and everything will be fine there Okay, so I was a little worried about the bass resonators being exposed. That's one reason why I'm not a huge fan of the JBL speakers is because they do have those exposed radiators. Um, and let's uh, let's just say that um, it's in your backpack or or you're just kind of chilling and it's you're just throwing it around like in a in a bag or anything like that. I'm always concerned about well, what if I have something like a pin or something like that and it punctures the base resonator. Um, so I, I just I don't know. May, maybe it's just me being very cautious. But that's one thing I wish that Sony might have done differently was at least uh, give a little cover to the base resonators right here. And so that way you do have a little bit more protection when it comes to them. But it is pretty cool to be able to see um, when you have it down to be able to play music and see the bass response on the resonators kind of going. It's like, okay, that's cool. And then if you put water on it, it kind of splashes the water a little bit up. 
Um, so that's kind of a cool visual. I don't think Sony really intended for that, but still, it's pretty cool. The back side here, you've got your all your buttons, your power button, your Bluetooth button, your pause play and answer call button. So this does have um, a microphone so you can take calls on this speaker um, for speakerphone, which is really nice. Then you have your volume up, volume down, and then you have your battery button and your party mode, which will um, allow you to have multiple speakers um, Bluetooth together. You can have like up to 100, I think, or something like that. It's very similar to uh, JBL's party mode or anything like that. So, And then you have your stereo pair. When you pair this with a second uh, Sony uh, 23 speaker, you can press that stereo pair and one speaker will be the left channel and one speaker will be the right channel and so therefore you can have kind of a stereo pair of speakers um, so just if you want to do that that is an option so that's pretty cool that Sony gives you that option okay so for a quick comparison I'm going to compare this to my all-time favorite small Bluetooth speaker the Bose micro um, Bluetooth speaker. This speaker overall sounds amazing, has great bass for especially for the size and you can hear the mids and highs very nicely. So overall I'm going to compare this to this speaker but anyways we'll put that to the side. The sound on this speaker is amazing. Uh, it sounds very good. Um, some really nice mids and highs and some good bass especially with the bass resonators and I'm glad that Sony did put the bass ports in the bottom um, in order to give you that clean bass sound through a good airflow. I know uh, again some people they thought oh it's for allowing the bass to bounce off a wall or something like that if you have it in the corner. I don't think that is uh, what Sony had intended. It just happens to be that when it is up against the wall, it it kind of bass boosts a little bit, but not a whole lot. But I think Sony's true intention was to give you better airflow when it comes to bass. Uh, the sound is, it has a neutral sound, um, good bass, good mids and highs. However, you can go into the Sony app and kind of change it however you like it, whether you want more bass, less bass, more treble, all that kind of stuff you can go into the Sony app and customize your sound that way so that's also very nice um, but overall I think the sound is really good on this device um, it's going to do uh, really well when it comes to having it in a small room or a small living room and like that is gonna fill up the room with good sound it gets pretty loud um, so just be aware of that don't um, completely blast out your ears if you're like sitting in your bedroom and you have this thing full volume but even even at 75% uh, volume there wasn't really any distortion at least in my opinion of this when it came to the sound so overall I think the sound is really good of course it's Sony so Sony always has really good sounding uh, speakers and headphones even Sony's cheaper like $12 a pair of headphones sound really good surprisingly so anyways um, this is their uh, I guess lower tier speaker they have two other tier speakers um, that are a bit more pricey than this but overall I think this is a great sounding speaker for especially for the size um, I wouldn't say it's as good as the Bose micro but it it will compete I think with it um, and both of these speakers are $99 so if you go with one or the other you're not gonna uh, miss out especially when it comes to sound overall I really do like this speaker again I wouldn't say I like it more than the Bose micro because this speaker is just it's so much smaller as you can tell and it's so much thinner and it's just uh, amazing. I do wish that the Bose Micro did use USB-C. I think they're coming out with one if they haven't already come out with one that uses USB-C. But um, this is my overall favorite small Bluetooth speaker. However, this is a close second. Um, I really like it. I like the design. I like being able to have it just sitting 
in the corner or sitting on my coffee table and just be able to play music through it and have it stand there and not have to do worry, worry about, oh, where's the placement of it and like that. It will fill your room up with sound, especially in a small to medium sized room. So um, I know the more expensive ones are like $149.99, I believe, or something like that. But honestly, I think this $99.99 uh, lower tier Sony speaker uh, sounds amazing and will fill up your room plenty. If you do have a bigger room, I would go with the 34 or 33 um, speaker, whatever the next tier is. And I believe that is again $149.99. And then they have a bigger one that I believe is like $249.99. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But Overall, I think for the size and the price, this speaker is great. It is my probably my second favorite small Bluetooth speaker out of all the Bluetooth speakers I have. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been my Sony SRS-XB23 review. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I post another video. Until then, everyone, stay safe. Peace.